One thing that you can do to significantly improve your online security today on Dotto Tech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? At Dotto Tech, we make technology easy so you can do more. More what? Well, you could enter in a cheese rolling competition. You chase a cheese wheel down a hill. I can't do this myself, it would break me, but oh my goodness, it just makes me happy. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about a really serious topic, online security, and something that you can do to significantly improve your security. We hear in the news on a weekly basis now of websites and services that are hacked and usernames and passwords are compromised. And every time that happens, we uh, end up being at more risk. But there's one thing you can do to take back some of some level of security, even in the light of these breaches and security of the people who we're doing business with. And that is to set up two-factor or two-step authentication for your system. Now, it sounds a little bit complicated, and it seems like it might be a little bit um, inconvenient uh, to have to set up a second kind of password set in order to get into your accounts, but it is far easier than you think and far more secure than any other way that we know of to make our accounts more secure. All right, let me see if I can explain to you how two-factor authentication works. And it's really made practical because of the advent of this, of the smartphone. Here's how it works. You know your username and password. You might have a piece of software that has your password or you have saved it somewhere. When you go to enter an account, you enter your username and password and the business site or the site that you're trying to access says, oh, this looks like it's you, Steve. You've got the proper username and password. But prove to me that you are you. Do something for me that only you can do. Tell me a secret that only you know. And the secret is I'm going to send you a text to your phone that nobody else can see. And I'm going to, in that text, there's going to be a code. I want you to enter this code. Show me that and then I'll know it's you and I will let you in. And it seems like it might be a little bit inconvenient and a, a little bit too much work to do this, but oh my goodness, this is the most secure way that we currently have to secure our accounts. Uh, let me set up and kind of walk you through all the different pieces because it really is actually far easier than it sounds. Uh, it's not difficult to set up. And once it's enacted, it doesn't seem to get in the way, at least it doesn't bother me in any way, shape or form as I go in and out of my different accounts. So we'll begin with Google. We'll show it to you in Google, we'll show it to you in Facebook, but you can set up two-factor authentication in multiple, in a lot of your different accounts, including bank accounts. So what you do is you go into your account and you go into uh, the uh, account settings. You just go into my account if you're in Google, right here, and there we go into sign in and security and we click in at signing into Google. We only have to go through this process that I'm gonna walk through once right now with you, but within this, within in this interface is all of the different settings uh, for two-factor authentication. So here you have a password and sign-in method. I'm going to turn on two-step two verification. And they, some people call it two-factor, 2FA. Uh, Google calls it two-step authentication. It's the same thing. They explain to you what's happening here and we can get started. So as I say, it's gonna be based on our username and password on one side and our smartphone on the other side. Uh, so we're gonna enter our password here so they know it's us and then it asks me what phone I want to use in order to set this up so I've already got a phone number attached to this account so I'm going to say I want this to happen through a text message this is the simplest way there are some other options that we have which I will show you as we kind of go through the demo today uh, but right now this is this is how we set it up and they have just sent me a code texted it to me and here is that Google code right here. So this is to confirm the setup. So I'm going to put it in right now. Now I don't have to worry about you seeing this code because it's a one-time code. These things are use them once and then they're done. Uh, and they actually are time stamped so that they can only work for a certain period of time. There it goes, it worked. Now do you want to turn on two-step verification? So it's verified that this is my phone and it's verified that I am me, and so now it has turned on two-step verification. And I'm gonna walk you through this, I'm gonna walk you through these uh, different options here in just a few moments. So let's just walk through what happened because that is an example of two-factor verification. Actually, you know what I'll do is let me show you logging in 
using two-factor authentication. And while this is running, I will explain to you what's going on. I'm logging into an account, my account now, and when I go to log in, it's doing just what we said. It's saying, oh, that's your proper username and password, Steve, but I'm texting you a code. Here the code comes into my smartphone, and I enter the code, the one-time code in, and bingo, I'm into the account. This is as secure as it gets in our modern world. Uh, this is uh, at least for at least for mere mortals. I mean, no, we're not talking military grade security here, but for consumer grade security, this dramatically improves the quality of your security in all of your accounts that you apply two-factor authentication to. Now you can make it more convenient. There's a couple of tools that they have that make it more convenient. And when you log in with Google, you will see that you've got a couple of options here. The first is it's asks, are you tired of typing in verification codes? You can add Google prompt. In, in this case, Google will send a, a, uh, a, a, an alert to your phone, not a text message, which you just have to verify by clicking OK. So it removes the step of having to type in the verification code every time you log in. It really does make it quick and convenient. And the same levels of security are there because it sends the Google prompt to your phone. It has to go to that device and you have to log in on that device. You just don't have to type it back in. Instead, that happens in the back. Uh, the communication happens in the back. So you've got that capability as well. Uh, they've got a couple of other things, alternative second steps, such as having printed one-time backup codes, if you want, which seems rather elaborate for me. I've never gotten into it. Uh, the Google prompt, as I mentioned. But the Authenticator app is an interesting option. It allows you to use two-factor authentication even when your phone is offline. So let me just take a second and let me install the Authenticator app to show you exactly how it all works. And it starts by installing the app on your phone and then configuring it here. Take a look. Okay, I'm going to try and set up the uh, Google Authenticator now. So we go into my security settings, I've uploaded it. Now they tell me that I can set it up by manual entry or barcode. Let's choose barcode. Authenticator would like to access your camera, yes. And here, we set up Authenticator on the iPhone. And now we just scan in the barcode. There it is. <laughs> Scanned it in really quickly and easily. I click next. Enter the six digit code we see in the app. Let's do that. Okay. Now you will use Authenticator to sign into your Google account. So it's now all set up, it's done. Now the Google Authenticator will allow you, it's now married to the account, it will allow you to use the Authenticator app to create, to generate the code to log in instead of having Google message the, the message to you. And the Authenticator app works with other third-party apps as well. For example, we're gonna show you how to set up Facebook now. You can use it for Facebook as well. You can also set up security key and backup phones here. You should go through all of this detail yourself, but essentially now we've covered the basis of how two-factor authentication works, at least within the Google environment. Let me show you, and it's gonna be slightly different for each other environment that you're in, but if we go into our, but if we go into our Facebook account, let me show you how we set it up there, because that would probably be the second place that I would install it, is in Facebook after I've done Google. You go into your settings, and there, the second command in settings is security and login. You choose that, and they have right here, use two-factor authentication. Uh, so you can create and set up two-factor authentication here. They explain to you how it works. They allow you to log in, to set it up. And again, just like in Google, this is a one-time process. You only have to go through this one time. Here, we can choose to use the Authenticator app or we can use a text message. I'll choose to have a text message sent one more time in comes the text message from Facebook. There she is. I think it's this number here. Oops. There we go. And it says it's on. Two-factor authentication on. Now here's an important point. First of all, it asks me if I want text notifications on new posts or more. Well, that's just uh, them bugging me, so we'll leave that off. But here's the important part. 
allow logins without a code for one week. Two-factor authentication, once you've got a trusted system set up, you don't want to necessarily have to use two-factor authentication every time you log in from your home computer. If you just say re-enable it every, or re-enact it every week, that's probably good enough for security. Again, your own personal thresholds you're going to make that determination on, but this allows me to log in for a week without having to resend the code. So that again makes it a little bit more convenient for less risky environments. But if I'm logging in from any other device that's not known uh, or that I haven't used in the previous week, it's going to ask for the two-factor authentication. And you'll find those sort of settings depending on the services. Uh, things like Google will give you those options. Your bank won't. Your bank shouldn't because you want to be able to log into your bank account each and every time and you want to use the most security you can each and every time. We live in a dangerous world where our security and our privacy is constantly at risk. I mean, you just have to turn on the news or check your news feed to hear stories of different services that are being compromised, usernames and passwords are constantly being stolen. This is one step that you can take which proactively ensures your security and your privacy more than any other step that you can take. It does not 100% guarantee that nothing bad will ever happen, but it gives you the best chance. And it really isn't all that difficult to use. It's certainly not difficult to use once you set it up and setting it up is quite simple as well. The advent of the smartphone, the fact that this now is tied to us intimately and goes with us in all places and everywhere we go, makes this a really practical solution. I hope you found this video to be useful. I would love to hear from you whether or not you're using two-factor authentication, how it's working for you, any concerns you have, any suggestions you have for other videos. I promise you, I read each and every, vid uh, each and every comment that you post here on YouTube even if I don't have time to reply to everyone. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you will hear about any upcoming videos and tutorials and webinars that we do here at Dotto Tech. Until next time, I am Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.